Hey artists, today we're making our own bowl of alphabet soup. We're going to have all these noodles with all the different letters in the alphabet. So follow along with me and I'll show you all the steps. All right, friends, we're going to start with a pencil. You can draw your circle freehand or if you want to get a small bowl or plate or anything round, you can use that to trace to help you get that circle shape. Once you have that circle shape, we're also going to make a bigger circle around our first circle to show the outside of the bowl. All right. So now I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm gonna put the black marker around the outside of the bowl. The inside circle we drew is gonna be where our soup is. All right, so I'm just going around the edge and we've got it. The next thing I'm going to do, so I'm gonna take that same black marker and I'm going to draw a tall rectangle that goes down on this side, down on this side, and then over. That's gonna be the napkin in case I get some of the soup on myself or on the table. The next part of making our alphabet soup is drawing our spoon. A spoon is gonna have an oval shape here. So we're gonna draw an oval here. There's your oval. And then you're gonna have it come down. And I like it when they get bigger at the bottom. I see that a lot. And then on this side, it's gonna come down and get bigger at the bottom. And now we have a spoon to eat the soup with. We can take our black marker and we can trace around the outside of that spoon also. But we drew it in pencil in case we need to erase anything. Now comes the fun part. We've got our spoon and our napkin and our bowl, and we are ready for some alphabet soup. So, with my markers, I'm gonna put in some different letters. I could just put random letters, or sometimes I like to make sure I get all the letters by saying the alphabet to myself. So I might say A. Now I wanna switch my colors up a lot. I'm gonna have all different colors in my soup. Get some different colors here. All right, A, B, C, D, E, and I'm just going to kind of go around E. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I've got my whole alphabet floating in my alphabet soup. Now, I could take my orange and I could put in some round little carrots in there. And you can just kind of fill your bowl of soup with your different letters and your different vegetables. When we read the book Soup Day, I saw that there were not only round carrots, 
but there were little pieces of celery that look like little green squares. So I can put some celery in here and you can get creative and put whatever you would like in your soup. I could put some potatoes. Some little oval potatoes. And even some little pieces of parsley. So those are gonna look like little polka dots when you sprinkle that on top of your soup. Once your alphabet soup is full of the different letters and vegetables, the next thing you're going to do is get either a yellow crayon or a yellow orange crayon, and we are going to color in our soup. So you could use this lighter orange, this yellow orange, or you could use plain yellow to make the broth of the soup. So I'm gonna just color real light with this yellow orange and I'm gonna fill in where the soup is. I might even layer these up. I might put some of this yellow orange and then I might use a little of my yellow crayon too to make the broth of the soup. So here's my yellow crayon and I'm just going right on top of the marker and those show right through and then I've got my soup in my dish. Perfect. You could leave your spoon blank like this, or you could even put a little bit of soup in the spoon. Like I could put some different letters and maybe just some different little pieces in there. And then I'm gonna use that yellow and show the soup in the spoon. Then we're gonna wanna take either a gray or black crayon and we're going to lightly color our spoon in with the gray. Now I want to color around where the soup is in the spoon. Perfect. The next thing we want to do is color the table or the tablecloth where the bowl and the napkin and the spoon are sitting. We're going to use markers and crayons, and you can use any colors you want. So you could have a yellow, orange, or blue and green, any kind of color of tablecloth or table you would like. Maybe you're gonna have a wood table and it's going to be brown. I think for mine, I'm gonna use the red and the purple, and I'm going to make um, a striped tablecloth. So when I'm putting the stripes, on my tablecloth. I need to stop and pick up so I make sure I don't get it on my bowl. So I am just decorating my tablecloth. I pick it up, put it down. Go down, stop, pick it up, and put it down. I'm just decorating with our marker. Now you don't have to do the stripes or the plaid that I'm doing. You could have a polka dot tablecloth. You could have a rainbow tablecloth. You could use any colors you would like. I'm gonna do kind of this plaid look. So I go across and I stop and pick it up. It's 
So right now I'm just making sure I don't get any of my marker on my bowl and my napkin. Being pretty careful with my coloring. And then I was gonna add a little purple as well. So I was just gonna add that purple line going across. And then I'll put that line going up and down too. I like the way that's starting to look. I used to have a tablecloth that kind of looked like this. So I'm just putting those colors on. All right. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my crayon and I'm just going to add a little bit of color on top of that. So I'm just going to get my little red crayon and I'm just going to lightly color around. I'm not pushing hard, I'm pushing really light just to kind of color in behind my soup. Once you are finished coloring in your table or your tablecloth, you have one more important step, and that is putting the shadow on the side of your bowl and your napkin to make it look a little bit 3D. So we are gonna take our crayon and we're going to push, push, push next to that napkin on this left side, pushing real hard. Push, 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 push all the way down. Now, when we push hard, now we're gonna push real light and kind of fade it away. Light, 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 light. And we're gonna do that underneath it too. Push hard, 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 hard. And then fade it to lighter, 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 lighter. And there is a nice shadow on the napkin. Now we wanna do the same thing with our bowl. I'm gonna take the black crayon and we're gonna push, 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 hard, 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 right next to it. We're trying not to get it on your plate. Pushing hard, but not too fast so I can control it, make sure I don't get it on my plate. Now, on the side, it's gonna be a little bit thicker when we push, 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 push. And then it kind of fades away at the top. Now we're gonna push a little bit lighter, lighter. Oh my gosh, I'm barely touching the paper. Light, light, light. Woo. And there we have it, our alphabet soup with our spoon and our shadow. I can't wait to see your alphabet soup and the tablecloth you made and your finished art. Happy creating.